Hello, I'm Joe Wren. The former Hostess Bakery in Columbus will not resume operations according to Columbus economic development officials. Flower Foods bought the Dolly Madison Bakery last year as part of an acquisition deal after Hostess declared bankruptcy. The company analyzed the property and has decided to put it up for sale. But a condition of the sale is that it doesn't go to a competitor, which means it will not be reused as a bakery. Flowers Foods is asking about $2.75 million for the property, which Hester says, which they say is in line with other properties in the area. Flowers Foods could not be reached for comment. As the legislature debates whether to let central Indiana voters decide to expand public transit, a new report shows there is more demand for seats on buses and trains. The number of rides taken on public transportation systems in the United States last year was the highest it has been since the 1950s, according to a report from the American Public Transportation Association released today. The new report shows ridership in Bloomington increased 1.6 percent and 2.7 percent in Indianapolis in 2013. A bill banning some minors from tanning salons just needs the governor's signature before it can become law. Indiana is one of 33 states that regulate tanning and current law allows teenagers under 16 years old to use tanning beds if they have parental approval. The bill the legislature approved last week would ban those teenagers from tanning salons altogether. The proposal also would require the State Department of Health to create standards regulating tanning bed use. And now checking the weather forecast tonight, partly cloudy, 42 degrees the low. And then in, tomorrow in the five-day forecast, an 80% chance of rain, 65 the high, then 35 the high on Wednesday with a 70% chance of a mixed rain-snow. And then 35 degrees again on Thursday.